Well, I've spent over 100 hours in the last 7 days collecting all the unique weapons in Starfield, and I think we pretty much have them all, a total of 61 secret unique weapons to collect. With the exception of one called Fortune's Glory that no one has been able to find, but we do know exists. In this guide I will tell you how to get them all. If you're looking for something a bit more in depth then you can click the playlist in the description. I do have longer videos on all of these weapons, I just didn't want the video to be over one hour long. So let's begin, we'll simply go through these by category. The N67 Smart Pistol, to obtain this weapon you can visit the UC Distribution Store located in the Commercial District in New Atlantis. Ashta Tamer is found in a chest in the Empty Nest, which is part of the game's fourth main mission. Exterminator Rattler. To obtain this weapon, you can visit the UC Distribution Store, located in the Commercial District in New Atlantis. Heller's Cutter. To obtain Heller's Cutter, you need to visit the Argos Extractor's Mining Outpost in Vectera, which is actually where you start the game, but you can't go back till you do the mission back to Vectera. And then Heller's Cutter is inside the building here. Poison Storm is a heavy weapon that you can purchase in Neon's Core Kinetic Shop, located in the Trade Tower. Wait till you add one of Reckless Bombardment. During Hostile Intelligence, you have the option to talk with Lieutenant Azevedo, who has the Reckless Bombardment for sale. Shard Shock. During Hostile Intelligence, you open three containers to collect samples. One of the containers has a unique weapon inside called Shard Shock. Lastly we have the X989 Microgun, found during the UC Faction mission Hostile Intelligence from the Armoury, which is an optional mission quest. You talk to the guy here next to the armour you pick up and he will give you this gun, although I have seen some people say that the guy is not here for them, so it could be bugged. Let's move on to the unique pistols. The Ace Sidearm, purchased from Jimison Mercantile in New Atlantis. Hi there, take a look. The Ambassador Pistol is a reward from the UC Vanguard mission's Friend Like These. During the mission you'll need to blackmail Ambassador Radcliffe and demand a gift from her, and as a result she will award you the Ambassador Pistol. To obtain the Deadeye Pistol you get this by joining the Free Star Rangers in Aquila. Head to the Rock and speak with Autumn McMillan. Completing the mission for the Rangers will eventually lead you to receiving the Deadeye when you become a deputy. Congratulations. The Rangers ain't a bad outfit, and they're lucky to have you. Wish we could throw Elegance is purchased from the Roland Arms in Aquila City. The legendary Keel Hauler is a reward for completing oh, Echoes of the Past Crimson Fleet faction mission. Oh. Pack your bags, Rook. And since you were... The Marathon Pistol is found at Clint's Collectibles in Gagarin Landing. Plenty on offer. To get the Mutineer Pistol, go to Vlad's Villa in the planet Serum 7A. After you visit the Eye, you can inquire about his past and he will provide information about his old villa's location. You can travel to the villa and you open it up to find a mutineer pistol inside. The Prime is purchased from Laredo Firearms in Aquila City. To get Radburn on Tau City 2, there is a container behind the Terramorph that jumps out during the Vanguard mission grunt work. <laughs> Sir Livingston's pistol is given to you by your parents if you choose the Kid Stuff trait. The Short Circuit, it's found in the weapon shop called Best Defense in front of the Hope Tech building. Solace, complete the debt collection mission in the Gal Bank in New Atlantis. You need to do like five of these and then eventually you'll come across the delinquent mercenary and you can choose to pay off his debts for him and he will reward you with the weapon. The 
the spacer. Acquire the spacer pistol by purchasing it from the Neon Ryojin Tower at the Ouroboron shop located at the back of the lobby. Street Sweeper is rewarded for completing the final Striker Gang mission in Neon called Showdown. Trick shot. During the UC Faction Quest War Relics, you can search one of the giant mech's husks to find the trick shot inside. Unfair advantage, this one is missable. Defeat a candy and loot his body after siding with the Crimson Fleet during the Crimson Fleet faction missions. If you do this, however, the Tempest weapon will be missed. The Zapper, purchased from Roland Arms in Aquila City. Let's move on to the rifles. Acid Rain is a unique from Vicente Salinas after you retrieve his package for his activity quest. It becomes available in his shop, who is in the well. Welcome to Salinas. Amped up Orion, during hostile intelligence, you have the option to talk with Lieutenant Azevedo, who has the reckless bombardment for sale. The buzz cut, obtain the buzz cut rifle by purchasing it from the Neon Tactical Shop, which can be found on the main strip in Neon. Brawler's Equinox is a unique from Vicente Salinas after you retrieve his package for his activity quest. It becomes available in his shop, who is in the well. Despondent Assassin is probably the best unique weapon you can actually find. You get this in Aquila City. You can start a quest chain by speaking to Keone and a guard named Davis Wilson. This starts the Defensive Measures quest, and when you complete that, you progress to False Positives, and then finally Leader of the Pack. Completing all three of these quests will reward you with the Legendary Sniper Rifle. Next, we have five rifles, all unique, from two different vendors on the Crimson Fleet space station, called the Key. The weapons are Feather, Fury, Hunter Wolf, Pirate Legend, and Power Beat. Don't even try to. We can talk about whatever. Fiscal Quarter. Obtain the Fiscal Quarter rifle by completing the All the Money Can Buy main story mission offered by Walter Stroud. This mission involves a shady business deal in Neon. Fortune's Glory, like I mentioned at the start of the video, this gun is mentioned in the game files, although no one has been able to find it yet. Gallows Reach, a unique Old Earth assault rifle found in the scow in the main missions. Enjoy your time on board the scow. Got work to do. Headhunter purchase the Headhunter rifle from Laredo Firearms in Aquila City. Justifier, you get this from being a full-fledged member of the Freestar Rangers, so you have to complete the entire questline. The final mission is called the Hammer Falls, and you will get the Justifier weapon as a reward. The legendary Revenant rifle, this one is missable. Located on a table in the vault at the end of the Eye of the Storm Crimson Fleet faction mission, where you have to download data. If you don't pick it up here, then you can't get it. 
the Marksman's AA-99 rifle that you can buy in New Atlantis. Mind Terror, purchase the Mind Terror rifle from Neon's Core Kinetic Shop located in the Trade Tower. Peacemaker, complete the Peacemaker quest line. Now, was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we went our separate way? Peacekeeper, a reward from the Ground Pounder quest line. Speechless Fire, another weapon you can get from the best defense outside of the Hope Tech building in Hope Town. Tempest, another weapon which is missable. Defeat Delgado and loot his body after siding with the UC Sys defense during the Crimson Fleet faction missions. If you do this, however, the unfair advantage weapon which you get from defeating Commander Akande will be missed. Unrestrained Vengeance, complete mission number 11, high price to pay. Vampire's Gift, during Hostile Intelligence, you have the option to talk with Lieutenant Azevedo, who has the Vampire Everything Gift for state. sale. Next, what about Unique Shotguns? Boom Boom, acquire the Boom Boom Shotgun by purchasing it from Neon Tactical Shop on the main strip in Neon. Brute Force, doing the Red Mile quest in Parima 3. I don't have this one personally, it's bugged, but this is definitely how you find it. Just complete the Red Mile and you'll get this as a reward. Experiment A7, another weapon which is missable. Found during the Entangled mission, use the Persuade option when you speak with Ethan, who will give you the weapon. Jake's Hangover Cure, a particle beam shotgun found behind the bar at Jake's in the well. Rapid Shot. Obtain the shotgun by visiting UC Distributions in the commercial district of New Atlantis. Lastly, we have melee weapons, and we only have two unique melee weapons. The Syndicate Enforcer. This is a unique katana that you can steal from Frankie's Grab and Go. There's a secret room when you are in her shop in Ebstown, which is the side streets of Neon. You will have to steal her key or join the Strikers Gang in order to get into the back rooms. The last priest is given by the hunter in New Atlantis. If you side with him, then he will give you some optional dialogues and he wants you to kill Aquilus. You can go to Aquilus and you can persuade him to leave. And if you do this, you can return to the hunter and persuade him that Aquilus is dead and he will give you the last priest weapon. That just leaves us then with four unique weapons, but they are tied to the end of the game in New Game Plus. And I'm not wanting to reset my quest, so I haven't picked them up just yet, but they're easy to get. Unrestrained Vengeance and Eternity's Gate. You get an option to side with the Hunter or Emissary during the Unearth mission, the same one which you get the last priest from. And depending on who you pick will depend on the weapon you get. You cannot get both though. And you get the weapon when you defeat either the Hunter or the Emissary when you finish the game. Lastly, in New Game Plus mode, you'll randomly come across a Starborn Trader who will sell Avatar and Last Breath. Guys, that's it for this one. All the unique secret weapons you can find in Starfield. I'm going to be making a similar video for all the unique apparel and outfits and armors, although I haven't quite finished getting them all. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to help me out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.